All right, now we're going to be going over the surface anatomy for the arm. Okay, so we are looking at the left arm, and we can see this is anterior. Think anatomical position. Anterior. And then flip it over. Posterior. Okay, so let's flip it back. Okay, so our first area is the axilla or armpit. Then we have the inside of your elbow, which is antecubital. Then we can see the brachial artery. Remember, we use the brachial artery for taking blood pressures. Okay, the brachial artery comes down and splits, and we can see it here as the radial artery. Now, we know that's the radial artery because I can see the thumb, and the thumb is the radius side. Okay, then this little guy right here is the ulnar artery. Okay, so the ulnar artery, notice it's kind of buried. Okay, that's why we don't use that for pulse. There's nothing beneficial or better about the radial artery than the ulnar. The only reason we choose to use the radial is it's wide open. There's nothing covering it. It's going to be easiest for us to find and use. But we can use the ulnar, but it likes to hide in that little groove. All right, so let's do these again. We had axilla armpit, antecubital inside of the elbow. We have brachial artery that comes down and splits into the radial artery and ulnar artery. And then back to this antecubital area, this is also where we would find the median cubital vein. The median cubital vein is the most commonly used vein when drawing blood, starting IVs, and the reason why is it's one of the more anchored veins, so it's more stable, less likely to roll, but obviously we could use any of the surface veins for that. Now let's flip it over. Okay, so we're now looking at the posterior surface. This would be the deltoid. The deltoid is the second IM injection site. So that's your intramuscular. Think about where you get your flu shots. It's a nice little deltoid. 